Hello guys, welcome to another Discord.js tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll be making a hook command. We'll be using an API called RAM API, and this is the API page. And I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys want to use it as well. And we'll be using the hugs one, which will generate a random hug GIF. And this gives it a URL JSON here with a random URL every time it's called on. So let's go ahead and get started. First, we're going to want to make the command under misc. We make a new file and call it hug.js. And we'll go to under our pre setups here. Uncopy this and paste this in. We we'll fill out this information. Let me say hug someone. Alright. And I don't know why that's like the but it should be on the same line as and we can do Something like this here and in my prior usage. Which in this case it's hug user. And there's no flags, so now we get to the code. Now we need to install a patent dependency MI node fetch. Once that's installed, we can kind of get started from here. Obviously that will put it in here. Then we'll fetch to 0.6.1. And we're going back to hug. I'm going to erase this code here. This is going to get to it. We're going to do const fetch equals to require node fetch. Then we do let H user, which is the hug the user, equal to message. Oops. Ah. I'm not sure why things are doing that to me. Message dot yield dot member message dot men. Dot users dot first that will fetch the mention or message dot build dot members dot catch dot get args zero or no one sorry Rings one and in case they did, don't mention anyone we'll go ahead and put their tag here so we make it the author of the message if none of those two are correct we go to that and honestly, I have a spelling issue here. Ugh. My hand is not just any today. Okay, then we're gonna const hug embed equal to new message embed. Set footer requested by message dot author dot tag. I'll put the tag in from the offer. 
And we'll also need to put in there Avatar. The dot avatar URL. Then we want to make sure it is dynamic. And then set to true. That way, it would be a GIF if they have GIF image. Let's set color. First one, I'm going to do hashtag the color code 6441A5. Then we're going to set this description to Darhan message the author had hugged H user. Then I'm just gonna set this timestamp here. Then I'm gonna do const. Now we want to pull the URL part of this API and this URL. So we're gonna copy this URL. And we're also going to put a URL here. As that's what we're fetching from the URL. Just to await. Fetch. Then we're going to put that URL that we copied there. And we're going to do that then. Response. Or RES is what I'm going to do. What's the greater of res dot json then just in case the api goes down for whatever reason we're gonna catch the error so if it's ever down we can just say message dot reply and we can paste Piece there, but remove the hug so at least the home page is not responding. Exclamation point. Then we're gonna just return. After that, we can do a hug. Embed dot set image that we can just do URL. Now that will set the image of the embed to the URL of the API that the API has, which in this case would be whatever is posted here, which is randomly selected within the API itself. Then, last but not least, we can message dot channel dot send hug embed. We can save and we can reboot or turn on. In this case, we can just turn on the bot. It's really not running, so let's turn it on. And it shows up, which is good. Uh, and if I was to do use help. Misc, it would show up in there as well. Then you it twice. That's because I had another part running on it. That's just showing show up once. Alright, so then we can equal this to hug. And we can see here. Let's hug RAM. Because why not? And there we go. We get a random hug. And if we do it one more time. We'll get another image. There we go. So that 
API is working and it's working. And of course, if it was to be down, it will send this message, which works. I'm not going to put down the API to show you this. We'll just say it's down. We'll just do H for this case. I'll go back and do that. Because that's not, if you were to go to that URL, you would see that's not like anything in the API. It's not going to get it. Get it. So now if we do equals to hug at RAM, it would say that the RAM API is not responding, even though it is. It's just not able to get that URL. And if we was to put it back to set to G, oh yeah, and they, it will show here as well. They say, you know, what the actual warning is, you can set it to those warnings if you like. And then if you keep this hug, it will work again because we have it Oops. set to the right. Now, if we don't mention someone, it will just look like this as we just put in that variable. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode. Okay, right, guys, thank you for watching. Um, I worked so hard on these videos. Um, here is the previous video. We can watch the previous video. Here is the recommended video from YouTube. Here is the, p the playlist to the series that was currently playing. And hit subscribe.